Hey yo friends, super welcome in and thank you a ton for clicking on this video, I appreciate you. Friend, have you ever wondered what a Crisis, Metro and Stalker hybrid would look like? Well, so have I and GFA Games. GFA Games went so far that they actually provided us with the answer to that question. Let me introduce Pioneer, but with one E. Pioneer is no ordinary open world FPS. Pioneer blends MMO and FPS, which makes it an MMO FPS. The game has huge emphasis on both survival and exploration. And what does that actually mean? Well, let's do a deep dive into that. Let's do this. My beautiful friends, let's start with the story. Pioneer is a new post-apocalyptic game blending together MMORPG, survival and first-person shooter. The events will unfold on a Soviet island isolated from the mainland by a large-scale technogenic anomaly. As a former operative who survives the catastrophe, you now have to find and rescue their lost comrades as well as investigate the mystical Mogilink literally burial ground station. Don't look at me as I am some monster. I think I'm not different from you at all. Please tell me, uncle. Do you accept the rules of the island? Which price are you willing to pay to find your happiness? <laughs> The story pretty much aligns with what I would expect a hybrid game like this to be. I would have honestly liked to see something more unique in this aspect, as it doesn't feel new and fresh if you ask me. But at the same time, it feels like it's enough, or is it? However, it all depends on how story focused the main game will be. If there will be lots of dialogues etc, then I feel they should have come up with something better, maybe put more emphasis into developing a more unique story. But if it's mainly gameplay focused, then sure, I'll give it a pass. And with that said, the game offers some interesting gameplay mechanics, one of which reminds me a lot of Escape from Tarko. So let's move on to the gameplay. So guys, if you're having some kind of deja vu, it is because Pioneer evokes images of many many similar games. You may remember Atomic Heart, another Russian open world FPS which we do have a full cover on in the channel. Atomic Heart is set in an alternative USSR setting, not to mention the upcoming Starker 2 with a lot of its anomalies and life simulation systems, which will be present in Pioneer as well. There is also a crafting system and a skill tree with different abilities for your character. However, what is different here is that Pioneer is no ordinary open world shooter, but an MMO FPS as I said in the beginning with an emphasis on survival and exploration. And what that means is in PvE mode, you'll explore secret Soviet underground laboratories and abandoned settlements inhabited by vermin and mutants. There are four different factions in the game, providing unlocks for the new quests, rewards and weapons. And in PvP mode, you'll travel to so-called empty lands with valuable loot. You may choose to join other players for a better reward or fight them get all the items for yourself. It sure sounds like a hybrid between Dark Zones in the Division 2 and Escape from Tarkov, though we'll have to wait and see how exactly PvP will work in Pioneer. So according to what we know, the work on the project started back in 2017. Pioneer is using Unreal Engine 4 for its detailed graphics, though the game certainly looks a bit too much like its competitors and lacks a little bit of its own personality if you ask me. Don't get me wrong here guys, I do think that the game looks really fun and I'm pretty confident that the game will be super popular upon release and most likely super fun to play as well. However, as I did mention, story-wise I think that the game could have been more innovative. It almost feels like I have played this game before, even though I haven't even played it yet. 
and that says something about the whole uniqueness of the game. However, it does offer a very broad mix of different styles to play the game, which I can't really say that I have seen before in this type of game, I will say, and that mix could actually make the game really unique and stand out. Only time can tell, because we haven't played the game yet, however from what I'm seeing and from what I'm reading, it doesn't feel like it has that unique touch to it. It's totally fine for games to do copycats, I, I don't mind that, as long as they do it good and as long as something totally differs from the game that they're copying. However, this feels like a complete stalker clone. I'm, I'm just gonna spit it right out there, this feels like a stalker clone and they should have come up with more from what I have seen and read so far. Things can of course change along the way, I'm not saying that, and perhaps when we when we get to play the game it will feel completely different, but that's my opinion on it right now. It feels like a stalker clone even though it looks great, it looks super well made, it lacks that unique touch. Now however, I want to know your opinion on the game. Leave a comment down below, let's chat it up. Let's talk about it. Do you feel the same way as I do? Do you feel completely different? I would respect you if you did that. But please, let me know down in the comments. And don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't like it. Or punch me in the face. Nonetheless, you made it this far into the video. And I appreciate you super much for it. Until next time, friend. Keep on staying awesome.